My dear friends, welcome to Rajashekar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 328. In this lecture, I will continue my discussion on Naive's classification algorithm. Let's understand Naive's classification algorithm. Right now, I am on the Wikipedia page related to this particular Naive's classifier. This is a page related to probabilistic model. Naive's, as name suggests, Naive's. This is the name of the classifier. Bayes term included in its name because this classification algorithm uses Bayes theorem extensively. Naive English meaning is unsophisticated or simplest simplistic. I can say. Uh, what is the meaning of naive? It is unsophisticated or simplistic. So naive base is basically simplistic or unsophisticated algorithm which uses Bayes theorem. Again, Bayes theorem is so fundamental to the whole area called Bayesian statistics. It is so fundamental in probability and statistics. Now we will go and see. How naive base actually works, and we will try to use the notation which is used in this particular Wikipedia itself. Imagine I have a point x, x is n-dimensional point, x equal to let me say x equal to x1, x2, so on, xn. I can say it's n-dimensional point. I have point x. First, we will try to understand mathematics part. Imagine I have data point x. After understanding mathematics part, I will explain this particular classification algorithm with a particular toy data set. Time being, let me say, imagine I have data point x, which is basically has n features x1, x2, so on, xn. That's n-dimensional vector. I can say it has got n features. That's what it said. That's what it says. Just see, x is a point which uh, which has got n features x1, x2, so on, xn. This is the data point for which I have n features. Let's assume I have k possible classes. Just see, there are n features, and how many how how many how uh, I have k possible classes, k possible outcomes, or k possible classes. How many features are there? There are n features. Isn't it? My data points belongs to any one of the any one of the classes from one to so on k. Isn't it? X is my data point. This data point may belongs to x data point belong to any one of these classes. It may belongs to class one. It may belongs to class two, class three, so on, class k. Each of these classes are represented by c k. If I keep k equal to one, c one. C two, C three, so on. C C four means class four. C K means kth class, isn't it? C one, C two, C three, C four, so on, extra. So this is multi-class classification, isn't it? How many classes are there? There are k classes. Therefore, I can say it is multi-class classification algorithm. Of course, if k equal to two, you have binary classification. It can be extended to multi-class classification also. Now, what do we want to find out? That's important. What do we want to find out? Given a data point x, let me say x is a vector. We want to find. Let me say x is a vector. Given a data point x, x is a vector. We want to find what is the probability that given x, I want to find what is its class label. What is its class label? Just see. P of this is I can write P of C K by X. What does it mean? For that we want to find what is the probability that given X, I want to find what is its class label. What is its class label? Isn't it? That is P of C K by X. What is P of C K by X? This is the probability of class label. Probability of class label C K. Probability of class label. Given a data point x, is it a conditional probability p of a by b? Probability of a given b. Here, given x, I must find its corresponding class, isn't it? What is x now? X is nothing but I can write x is 
n dimensional vector n dimensional vector i can say just see x is nothing but i can write x as i can write x as x equal to x1 x2 so on i can write it as xn it has it has got n features this is not d dimensional vector this is n dimensional vector i am just flowing i am just flowing let me say i am just following this example which is which is in wikipedia isn't it flowing with this example i can say isn't it one thing we know from bayes theorem p of c k by x what is the bayes theorem according to bayes theorem what is the p of c k probability of class label k given data point x according to bayes theorem p of c k into p of x given c k by p of x this is this is the bayes theorem which we discussed isn't it what is this p of c k by x i can say this is what we want to find we want to find p of c k by x given data point x given data point x given data point x i want to find what is the probability given x what is the probability it is belongs to class c1 isn't it i i can write it as just see p of if i keep c if i keep k equal to 1 that is p of c1 by x what does what does it mean what is the probability what is the probability of c probability of c1 given x isn't it what is the probability it is it, it, this x belongs to class c1 what is the probability p of c2 by x if i keep k equal to that is p of c2 by x what is the meaning of this one what is the meaning of this one what is the probability that x belongs to c2 what is the probability if this x belongs to ck probability of ck given x isn't it it's 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 a conditional probability you can apply bayes theorem now you have to calculate all these values p of c1 by x c2 by x so on p of ck by x whichever is the highest probability identify highest probability in all these whichever is the highest probability i can pick that as class label for my x isn't it in 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 classification i can pick that as a class label for x in classification so what do we want to find out probability of ck given x now using bayes theorem i can write like this p of ck by x equal to p of ck into p of x given ck by p of x i can write it as product of probability of ck with probability of x given ck divided by probability of x in plain i can say using bayesian probability terminology the above equation can be written as already i discussed about these terminologies in my previous lecture what is this terminology this i already discussed in my previous lecture related to my bayes theorem this p of ck by known is called as posterior probability p of ck is prior probability p of x by ck is likelihood probability p of x is evidence this terminology i already discussed in my previous lecture just refer my previous lecture given these four terms first term second term third term fourth term given these four terms for you now let's understand now let's understand what is the numerator first what is the numerator first here here p of ck by x equal to p of ck into p of x by ck this is my numerator isn't it now p of ck means what p of ck is multiplied by p of x given ck that's what this numerator when you multiply both of this what will you get what will you get if you multiply both of this p of ck into this one p of ck into p of x given p of x given ck let me write what will you get is it not p of x p of x and ck isn't it why because in the place of p of x by ck what can i write p of a by b means what this can be written as p of x intersection this is uh, p of a by b means what p of a intersection b by p of b by p of ck i can write isn't it 
if for this p of ck p of ck will get cancelled you will left with p of x inter uh, x intersection ck isn't it i can write like this therefore i can write p of ck into p of ck into p of x given ck is as p of x inter x intersection x intersection ck let's look at numerator given data of point x let's assume i computed this one p of ck into p of x by ck equal to p of x intersection ck isn't it i computed this one i computed this one i computed this one for each class first we will compute p of c1 by x isn't it p of if i keep if i keep k equal to 1 p of c1 by x if i keep k equal to p of c2 by x so on if i keep c k equal 3 p of c3 by x if i last term is p of ck by x let's assume i computed all of them now what's happening what is happening in this case now for all these cases denominator is same just see this for all these cases just calculate p of c1 by x you will get denominator p of x only p of c2 by x you will get denominator p of x only p of c3 by x you will get denominator p of x only for p of ck by x you will get same denominator for all these cases the denominator the, the denominator is exactly same eventually what do i do let's say p c3 by x let me say p c3 by x there are terms p of c1 by x c2 by x c3 by x so on ck by x now now what do i do let's say p c3 by x is large in all of them let's assume this is largest one let let me say p of c3 by x is largest one i pick this i pick class 3 as a class label for my capital x class 3 why because i am assuming this this capital x belongs to class 3 why because i am i am assuming p of c3 by x is the largest value in all this in all these values p of c1 by x c2 by x c3 by x so on p of ck by x i will say x belongs to class 3 i can write p of c1 by x what is my p of c1 by x just let me write what is my p of c1 by x my p of c1 by x is equal to p of c1 into p of x by x by c1 by p of x that is my p of c1 by x what is my p of c2 by x what is my p of c2 by x that is i can write p of c2 into p of x by c2 by p of x isn't it yes if if i if i keep on writing p of c3 by x what is my p of c3 by x is p of c3 p of c3 into p of x by c3 p of x by c3 by p of x what does it mean what does it mean in p of c1 by x c2 by x c3 by x what is denominator denominator p of x only what does it mean p of x is same isn't it in all in all these cases in all these cases the denominator is same that is probability of x isn't it which is which of them is larger in p of c1 by x c2 by x on ck by x does not depend on the denominator the largest value does not de does not depend on denominator denominator p of x is constant here given x the denominator is constant the only thing you should worry about this numerator isn't it that what is my numerator p of c k into p of x by c k because for each of the class label the numerator the numerator changes because because of the class label if if probability of class label p of c k changes then p of x by c k also change let's focus on the numerator let's ignore the denominator because the denominator is is same for all p of c1 by x c2 by x c3 by x so on p of c k by x for all these values for all these values whether p of c1 by x c2 by x c3 by x so on c k by x for all these denominator is same because there is no c in the denominator isn't it in the denominator what is my task for given x we have to find the class label that is my task isn't it what is my task for given x we have to find its class label for that task my denominator is not useful 
for the task of building a classifier my denominator is useless because it's same across all of these terms just see it's same across all of uh, all of these terms p of c1 by x c2 by x on c k by x so what matters for me is the numerator let's focus only on the numerator now my p of c k by x my p of my p of c k by x just just see this one my p of c k by x equal to p of c k into p of x by c k by p of x if you take this numerator now this numerator is nothing but this numerator is nothing but i can write p of numerator this uh, need not bother about denominator i can write numerator as p of c k intersection x this can be written as p of c k comma x this i already explained instead of writing intersection instead of writing intersection we can write we can write like this comma which i discussed in my previous lecture this is how we can write now let's focus on this part which part p of c k comma x because we decided not to focus on p of x that is denominator because it's useless and constant for all the cases therefore i can say as it is constant i can say p of p of c k by x p of c k by x is proportional to p of c k p of c k comma x why because this p of x is constant so how do i determine which class i should decide to belong how do i determine which class i should decide to belongs to uh, i will say p of c k by x equal to p of c k into p of x by c k by p of x for whichever class it has highest value i must find all the values for whichever class it has it is highest i will consider x belongs to that class let's assume let's assume for c i let's assume for c i p of c k by x p of c k by x is largest p of c k by x is largest let's let's assume let's assume for c i p of c k by x is largest in that case i decide i declared capital x capital x belongs to belongs to class i why because for c i it is largest value p of c k by x this p of c k by x for whichever class this term is largest for whichever class p of c k comma x for whichever class this term is largest if c i is largest then i will say x belongs to class i this distribution is called joint probability model what is this joint probability model or i can say joint probability model or joint probability distribution p of c k comma x this p of c k comma p of c k comma x this p of c k comma x is called joint probability model because it's a probability probability of joint of both of them c k and x isn't it this means what c k and x jointly occurring this is same as this is same as let me let me write like this otherwise let me erase this one uh, how how am i writing p of c k comma x is it not same as this one just see this one p of c k what is my x my x is n dimensional vector therefore p of c k comma x can be written as p of c k comma x1 comma x2 so on xn because x is n dimensional vector i will continue my discussion on nay base in next class also let me spend few classes on basic mathematics behind nay base classifier then i will discuss this particular classifier by using a toy data set thank you very much if you have any difficulty please keep a comment in my next lecture that is on lecture number 329 also i will spend time on mathematics behind this particular classification algorithm thank you very much